Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. Okay, dokie. Here we are on the second beta of Project Trident, which is a continuation of Lumina on the desktop for TrueOS. And those who are familiar with TrueOS or TrueOS and Lumina will immediately recognize uh, something which really hasn't changed that much. Uh, and I really don't think it will change that much anyway. It, it'll be, it should be relatively seamless, the transition from TrueOS to Project Trident or Trident OS or whatever final name they come up with. Uh, it is Lumina of course, uh, for those who have never seen it before, it's, uh, it will take some getting used to, it's not your usual standard run of the mill desktop uh, environment. It's a custom made, um, for want of a better expression, skin that sits on top of um, Fluxbox with some additions to make it more user friendly. But yep, yeah, I think it's more or less the same. Um, I've installed it upon uh, real hardware, so it's not running on VirtualBox because I tried that and the system really didn't like it, and uh, I couldn't get any installation to stick. So I put into um, I, I put into the hot swap drive a spare 80 gigabyte drive I had and installed it on there and it seems to be happy on the physical hardware. So I've installed additionally Simple Screen Recorder and Audacity in order to make this recording. Um, everything else is more or less the same as it should be. The icons are still uh, relatively inconsistent in the theming. You've got a simplistic outline for some and you got full colour for others, so yeah, for those who prefer uh, that part of the aesthetics, uh, it's still not going to please you. The control panel uh, is still the same, again, the inconsistency. Uh, for anyone who's seen my previous video on TrueOS review, uh, will know all these. I'm not going to go through them all again. This is just a quick look at the uh, beta release and, you know. It took some some installing initially, but we got it going. So that's as it always is. Um, it being a beta, the the app cafe, as they call it, which is just really the uh, graphical package manager, that's set to local, so I can't install anything um, from the internet on there. But I mean, if you go into sort of like the terminal and and does package install, it works fine. So with a beta, or a beta, um, the, this beta release is hey, it's fairly stable. There's a few rough edges, the installation screens, the procedure is a little bit on the rough side. I should imagine that's all get um, will get tidied up a little bit. But apart from that, yeah, I mean, I did experience the um, for me, it's a familiar. Uh, desktop crash whereas you can log in at one point and you know everything's nice and swimming like this you install your things and you lock out close the system down then start up the next day and all you'll get is a blue background with no taskbar or icons um, or not even this information screen So that is still lit present. But all I did was you just go into uh, preferences, all desktop settings, bring it all across, and you go down to general options, and you click on restore Lumina defaults. Now that will bring back your desktop if it uh, disappears next time. But that's just a little bug which is seems to have been present ever since uh, Lumina first came out. I don't know if they're aware of it or they're trying to fix it or it's it's something not on their radar but it's it's in a little annoyance which I think until they fix that problem um, Lumina won't be adopted in a wide number of users. So yeah everything looks fine I mean there's nothing to report really there's nothing unusual 
Um, you right click on the desktop, brings up this uh, usual menu. You know, so you, so you can either access it down at the menu at the bottom of the screen or this way. Uh, memory usage, well, I think the last time that I tried this, the memory usage wasn't most fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's um, 600, 860, is that right? 860. So. But then again, it is running ZFS, uh, so I don't know. That's part of the course. ZFS can be hungry for it. So yeah, that's it really. Nothing fantastic. Nothing new. Uh, I think they're just really just um, laying the groundwork for a new um, distribution based upon True OS. And, and for that is to be applauded. Uh, we shall look on that. But Lumina does need a little bit of work. It's very inconsistent. It shouldn't be the case that you um, base your opinion on an operating system on purely on the uh, the GUI. But that's that's what that's the times that we live in. So when people see Lumina and its icons are all over the place and it's different, it it, it serves as a bad impression. Which is a shame because it has a lot to offer. So yeah, that's it really. Um, everything is as it should be. Everything is what I expected. There's nothing glaringly uh, bad and there's nothing glaringly fantastic either. It is as it is. I know that's boring. This is a boring review. Oh, a boring uh, quick look at. But seeing as really no one else has done one on YouTube. There's no other reviews of Project Trident. Um, I thought I'd just put this up. I'll give it a full rundown, a full uh, review when we get to a full release. I'm not going to bother doing any more betas or uh, release candidates, but once it gets to a full release and I'll do it uh, a proper justice, I'll review it properly then. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.